Left side of the box, Brooks, oh, lovely feet away from one. Then Gay brings him down, but the referee points to the ball this time. The Cherries again, they've got a very strong shout here. They're chasing the referee. And just a game, has he got another let off there? Dan Gosling's right in the referee's ear. We're having a little look at the monitor as the challenge comes in from Gay. It's, well, he hasn't got the ball. It's a penalty. Referee allows play to go on. Stanislas puts David Brooks in. David Brooks with an opportunity, and he's hit the post, and it bounces away. It was a calm, uh, calm finish from Brooks. Rolled it with his right foot past Pickford, and Charleston, who got a glance on it, delivered back in by Gay towards the back post. However, Charleston got back on his feet, and then the rebound is cleared off the line. It was amazing defending. The boys were throwing themselves at it all over the place. What a great clearance by Ake. Ake on the line with a very, very important foot as it drilled in. Well, Lucas Dino picks it up, King goes in, I thought he was going to commit a challenge there that could have been dangerous. The ball comes in and Zuma, left unmarked, has broken the deadlock. The danger initially seemed to have passed from the set piece, but the Cherries just switched off. Zuma stole in and at the near post headed it past Begovic. An hour gone, Everton won Dortmund third. Well, that's a strange goal to concede. I think we all had the right people in the right places, but Begovic came for it. Managed to get possession, and here at Everton down the left-hand side, Lookman might as well go for the penalty area here. Pulls it back to Calvert-Lewin, all over, 2-0. Dominic Calvert-Lewin. As the Cherries stream bodies forward, gaps at the back, and Calvert Lewin puts the game to bed. And it is going to be, unfortunately, a sixth successive away league defeat for the Cherries. The first time they've done that since 1994. 2 0 Everton.